Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good teacher. Good. Really good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Everything good, teacher. Thanks to God, everything good. What about you? Good. Um, no, just today has been a very exhausting day, but but I'm good. I'm good. Yes, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yes. Um, how about how was your day, Andres? Uh, very busy, teacher. Busy day. Yes, today. Yeah, sorry to hear that. And what about um, what about you, Jose? How how was your day today? For me, it was really fun because I have a rest day today. So it was really, really, really cool. Oh, very, re very good. Very relaxing then. Good. Yeah, that's right, teacher. Okay. What about you, Josue? Oh, a little busy because we uh, we're cleaning our uh, our branch because uh, our general manager uh, was busy visiting today. Oh, general manager was busy. Yeah, in our branch. Oh, visiting. I heard. Yeah. I I heard you said it was busy. No, visiting. Oh, visiting. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, so, so that you had to be extra on 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 extra good behavior. Yeah. Oh man, that's yeah. That, that's a little. Um, what's the word? Uh, a little stressful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And uh, Wendy, how was your day today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Well, today it was very busy for me. It was busy for you. Yes. Much meeting for Microsoft Teams in all day. Hmm. So what, what, what happened with the Microsoft Team? Uh, meeting? What happened with the Microsoft Team? Oh, no, no, uh, I have a meeting. I oh, was meeting. Oh. Mm. Okay, you have meetings in Microsoft Teams. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, very busy, but uh, very nice because it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, I know, finally. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Okay, good, good, good. What about um, Irvin? How was your day today? Without work, teacher. No work. Without work, so hard. Why? Why didn't you have work? Uh, <clears throat> because I worked so hard today. I had to work so work. hard. Work so hard. Oh, you and, worked hard. Oh, so there was. Yeah, work. yeah. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have work for to explain. <laughs> Okay, you worked hard or you didn't work? I, I don't <laughs> no. Teacher, yes. what he was to say that has no word to explain the oh, hard no that words. was his day. Yeah. Oh, okay. No words. Uh, there are no uh, words to explain how much work you had. So hard today. So hard. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I see. I see. Okay. Yes, teacher, because uh, today is Friday. And Friday, on Friday, it's so hard in my work. And I had to do, to do many things about my work. Oh, really? Yes, today is on Friday, it's so difficult. But I am happy because I can see you. I'm glad you are here. Thank you, I'm teacher. really happy that you're, you're here with us. 
Yes, because yesterday you were not able to connect <coughs> very long. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Wow. I I had to, to chat with China factory mm -hmm. because uh, I, I import a battery from China and the the China person are so special. You had to, to make Chinese. A, Chinese yes. people. Chinese people are so special. Uh, and because when you say special <laughs> is special a good thing or special a bad thing bad thing oh okay. bad. yeah bad thing yeah i see i see if you, if you are a, a country like el salvador we are a small country for for, for china okay uh -huh. um, you have to be listen and you you have to say yes all the thing and you can't uh, get that you want with the people because they are stronger in that moment in the world. Huh, okay, okay. Yes, sorry, teacher. Right. Well. So uh, if they say, I'm going to sell you this and it's 50% more, you need to say yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, only say yes, 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 and only that. My God. I just they, can imagine what a special it could be talking or chatting with these people. All in English. All in uh -huh, English. Uh -huh. yes. yes, but they once in, in one of my, I, in, in the call center, I was in an account that we deal with a South Korean people. Oh my God, they were. At, at night, only mm -hmm. at night. Yes, at, because it's day for I, them. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, so problem. Mm -hmm. I, uh, and the, the 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 container from China is so expensive at that moment. Wow. So expensive. Okay. Wow. Okay. So. Okay. Um, doing business with China is is a. Sound interesting. Yeah. It sounds it sounds very um, challenging. Challenging. All right. Well, we'll keep that in mind for next time we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's the expert. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, we'll ask you, Irvin. Okay. okay. All right, guys, let's take attendance um, while we're at it. By the way, thank you very much for completing uh, your um, your unit three. Um, yesterday on time. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, everybody completed it. Uh, let me see. Let's see. I know. Give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Um, homework three. My Dios. No me quiere colaborar esta cosa. Okay, yes. Yes, pretty much um, almost everybody. Almost everybody, like 99% right of you guys uh, did your units three. So I really appreciate your, um, your dedication. That's very important. Um, and yeah, that way you guys, and um, a lot of you I've noticed have started the final and some of you are even finished the final. So that's wonderful. That's really, really good. Yeah. So maybe like one third of the class have, have already finished the final exam. So that's excellent. I really thank you guys for that. Okay. So we are going to start um, with the attendance. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Say my name for the records. <laughs> if now it's not valid, they don't take my. <laughs> That's true. 
It reminded me of that song. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> okay, all right. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. Okay. Um, excellent. Welcome. Claudia. 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 Okay. Um, Edgar. Edgar? No. Okay. All right. What about Irvin? Present teacher. Okay. Heidi. Yes. Okay. Welcome. Irene. Present teacher. Wonderful. Ivan. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Thanks. Jose, Jose Montes. No. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right, welcome. And uh, Josue? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, and Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Jerry? Jerry? Okay, Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Um, Ronald. <clears throat> Ronald. No, okay. Um, Natalia? Uh, present teacher again. Okay, very good. Um, Wendy? Present. Okay, Werner? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And, um, and Yvonne? Yvonne? No? Okay, all right. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Just give me one second. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so, just wanted to mention something. You guys, um, you, um, probably received, right, the, the, the survey. Uh, did everybody receive that? Everybody received the email with the survey? The one for no. the last class, teacher? The one we completed in the last class? The survey we completed? Yes, uh -huh. the, the survey no. we, we completed. Oh, okay. No. Usually it's in uh, the last day. Or two days before. Yes. Okay, so they, they have not sent it to you yet. Not, no, not yet. Okay, mm -mm. okay, good. Um, so, um, so just um, wanting to remind you guys that when you receive the, um, the, the email, please remember that, um, that we have to complete it at the last day of class and um, not before, and we're gonna have to do it all together, okay? Now, um, when do we finish class? I don't know. When is our last day of class? In five days, uh, so we'll be next Thursday. Next Thursday, correct, exactly. Um, yeah, so that means that um, next Thursday, we're gonna be doing the, the, the survey, okay? Um, now, today, 
was the deadline to give in the the grades uh, sorry the 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 documents mm -hmm. were you able to do that i think so <laughs> yeah. we're supposed to uh -huh. be sent jose and i we were <laughs> pushing you just don't imagine how to the hr representative okay we suppose uh -huh. okay very very good all right what about the others uh, my company yes teacher okay okay good me uh -huh. too teacher i i send it to you last week good 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 i'm glad to hear that um anybody was not able um to con um to send the the anybody that you know in your group that was sorry in your your company that was not able to send no okay good good i'm glad to hear that i'm glad everybody um is doing that okay excellent okay good in that case guys um i'm hoping like this hoping that we will be able to start uh when we have it programmed which is going to be tentative on the 27th that all depends of course if everybody has given in your documents right that's that's what's going to depend on okay any questions about that questions no okay all right great in that case guys what we're going to do is the following um i'm going to start with the um powerpoint please tell me if you can see it Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so today's um, topic is assessing risk vocabulary. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and it's the intermediate two, class number 21. Okay, so um, before we begin with this, we're going to actually, I'm going to stop. And do you guys remember the topic, the, the, the game that we played last time where I had to send you a vocabulary word, you looked it up, you decided if you were going to say the correct um, definition and um, or change the definition and give something different. Do you guys remember that? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, there were some people um, that I sent the the vocabulary to, and there were other people that I couldn't send it to because you know there was not enough vocabulary words. So I want to know who were those people? Who were the people that um, didn't have the opportunity? Who were the people that never got a word? Mister. Okay, so Jose, who else? Quien nunca les llegó una palabra. <clears throat> Me, teacher. Okay, Heidi. No, Natalia. Oh, sorry. Ah, okay. Yeah, I got the word. Ah? I got a word. That's got a word. Okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jose, Natalia, who else? Vamos, chico. Yeah, habían más. Who never got a word? Me teacher, Hello. Wendy. Wendy, okay, good. Who else? Todos los demás obtuvieron una palabra? Okay. Yes. Okay, all right, good. All right, in that case, I'm, okay, I'm going to be sending uh, the words 
to these people that um, didn't uh, have a word. And I'm going to just send another one to, um, to one of the people that did, OK? Um, so we're going to repeat. OK, so give me a moment. Okay, I've sent the words to the uh, to four people, and you guys can um, look it up, look up the word, uh, find out what the meaning is. If um, if you guys um, don't know um, a word, something that you want to ask, you can ask me. Through a through private chat here in Zoom. Uh, otherwise, well, you can decide if you're going to give the real meaning or you want to change the meaning. It's up to you. Okay. Teacher, uh, you send it by email or what's no, up? I send it um, through the chat. I can see it. I sent it to you through chat. I can send it to you again. Okay, you guys ready? Anybody need more time? Yes, teacher, please. Okay, all right. Okay, by the way, um, guys, any questions that you wanna ask, um, whether it's about the course, about vocabulary, anything at all? No. Okay, good. All right. Um, are we ready? Jose, are you ready? Jose Ayala? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. Okay, so go ahead.
um, Warner, you're you're not supposed to get a word. It's just three, four people. Only four people are we going to have a word. So no worries. Okay, Jose, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, Jose, we can't hear you. And we can't see you either. Jose? Okay. Um, we're going to have to start with someone else then because otherwise we're not going to be able to. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's having like um, internet problems or something. So we're going to have to go to the next person. Um, Natalia, are you ready? But I didn't understand, teacher, what we ha I have to do. I don't know. Did you, find, did you find the meaning of the word that I sent you? Ah, uh, yes, but I know the, the meaning of the, the word bulk production. Uh, okay. Did you find the meaning? I didn't find, but I know the meaning. Oh, okay. All right. So you can either do one of two things. You can either give the real definition. Oh, okay. Or, or give a false definition. Okay. And okay. the false definition is going to be um, the false definition you decide. Um, like you're, you decide if it's going to be a false definition or not, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to guess if it's false or true. Okay. Okay? Okay, okay. So I have to talk about uh, what is the meaning and you say it's true or false, right? That's right. So you give us a meaning. You decide, you didn't want to decide if it's a true meaning or if it's a false meaning. Okay. Entonces, lo voy a buscar. <laughs> okay. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Uh, ball production is a simple, the actual production. So when we refer to bulk production, this means actual production or final production. Bulk production is the final product being produced based of the actual order requirements. It is the final and actual production that is planned to be shipped. Okay, so class, do you agree that that's the true definition or is that a false definition? Or do you want to hear it again? I agree, I think it's true. You think it's true? Okay. All right, do you guys want to, do you want to hear it again? Do you want her to repeat the definition yeah. again? Okay, so Natalia, maybe you can the bulk product, production is some simpler the actual production. So when we refer to bulk production, it means actual production or final production. Uh, is the final product being produced based of the actual order requirement? It is the final and actual production that is planned to be shipped. Oh, sale. Okay, so what do you guys think? True or false? What is the word?
I write it in the chat. Oh, really? I can't see it. Me neither. Verify that it says to everyone. Um, I think you send it just to me. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the definition, but what's the word? What's the word? Uh huh. Bulk production. And don't cheat, remember, don't look it up on the internet. Uh huh. You think it's true or not? I think it's true. I mean, do I? Uh huh, I think. I think, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we have three people that say it's true. So Josue said it true. Heidi says it's true. Yes. Claudia says it's true. What about the others? Do you think it's true? Yes or no, guys? Tenemos tanta gente y todos callados. Werner said yes, teacher. Werner said yes? Yes. Ah, that's Is the true. Up? <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? We have four people that said true. And like I said, there are lots of you guys. No sé qué piensan los demás. Yes, true. Urban, do you think it's true? For me, okay, but this is not the similar like the when you have factory and you produce the how say the name continue. Continue. continue or many. Yeah, continue or many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so continue. do you agree? Yes or no? Yes, I am agree. You agree. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yes. Good. Okay. So Natalia, what do you think? Is it true or false? Because everybody says they agree. That's true. Is it true or is it false? It's true. All right. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you very much, Natalia. Okay. Very good. The next person is Wendy. So Wendy, remember you can decide to give us a true meaning or a false meaning. Um, okay, so all right, so the word that she has is manual labor. Okay, so go ahead, Wendy, tell us the definition that you want to give us. Okay, uh, manual labor, manual labor is uh, the physical work done by our machine it is most literally work done with the hands muscles and bones of the body okay true or false yes true or false can you repeat for can me you the word for me it's true it's true for me too for me it's true too it's true can you repeat the word i didn't listen uh, Manual labor is the physical oh, work done by yeah. our machine. It is most late, literally work done with the hands, muscles, and bone of the body. It's, it's true. true. Yeah, it's true. So, okay. When it's is true? fall. No, it's fall. It's false because the, oh, it's false. Yes, because the manual labor is the physical work done by human, no machine. Oh, okay. But I heard that you say that it, it was the made with bones and, and the muscle of uh -huh. your body. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. I heard too yes. that. <laughs> In the first, uh, I, so you mix it. I write the manual labor is physical work done by 
aliens or machine, but it's very, uh, it's very easy. <laughs> and I only machine. <laughs> Okay, human. Manual labor is only human. Manual labor is not done by aliens, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the aliens word. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very easy. That I'll was say, a tricky. Yeah. That was a tricky answer. <laughs> yes, it was. She wanted, <laughs> she wanted to trick us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm. All right. Thank you, Wendy and Juan Francisco. Tell us your word. He said, I, I don't have work. <laughs> I sent you a word. No. And then in chat. In the chat. I have some problems at, at the oh. beginning, but then you see. Sorry, uh, <laughs> teacher. I. But you can I look don't. for it, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, look for it. Uh, Jose, are you there? Yes. Okay. Um, can you can you go ahead and tell us your word in the definition while Juan Francisco looks for the word? Okay, perfect. Okay. My word is conveyor belt. Your word is and, and sure. conveyor belt. Conveyor. Can you write it in the chat, Jose? Please. Okay, let me one more. Uh, to everyone. Um, so, conveyor belt is it is a part of the engine of the cars. That's the meaning. It's true or false? Of the car. Yeah. Would you repeat again? It is a part of the engine of the car. Is the false. part is the part of the engine? Yeah. Of the car. Mm. I think it's false. I think too, because for me, if we're talking about uh, production or labor, sounds more yeah. like that bell that. Factory, that uh -huh. Those bells that you see that they go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think that is for the vehicle. <laughs> but who knows? Okay, so we have two people. What about, the <laughs> what about the others? What do you say? I think Jose Wilfredo is Pinocchio tonight. <laughs> you, think, you think Wilfredo is what? Pinocchio tonight. <laughs> what? Pinocchio. Oh, Pinocchio. Ah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. He's very. He's he's been he's been very tricky. I can tell you that much. <laughs> okay. All right. Luis, what do you say? Es que está ahí bien calladito. Es false, teacher. Okay. false. another thing. Okay, so it sounds like the majority say it's false. Jose Alfredo, yeah. is it false or true? Yeah, it's false. It's the false. real meaning is a continuous moving strip or a surface that is used for transporting objects from one place to another. Mm, you see. <laughs> right. Yeah, very good. And and I'll I'll give you an example. You've seen you use conveyor belts all the time when you go to the supermarket, right? So um, you guys know when you go to pay for the food, you put the food on a conveyor belt, and the the food is transported to the clerk so that they can. Um, they can, um, you know, pass it through the machine and then charge you for the money, right? So that's a conveyor belt, that, that belt that, yes, it continuously moves so that it moves the products from one area to another, okay? All right, thank you very much. Juan Francisco, are you ready? Yes? No?
Yes, yes, okay, sir. good. All right, tell us what you have. Uh, my word is uh, machine out. Uh, is, the, is the operation of one machine for one hour. Use it as basis for cost fighting uh, for determining operating effectiveness. Effectiveness. Is that the word? Effectiveness? Yes. Huh? Okay. Yes. What do you guys think? True? False? True? False? For your face, teacher. True. <laughs> my, my face. What does my <laughs> face have to do with this? This is what I'm going to say. San Francisco, no. no this is. Well, I haven't even said anything. <laughs> uh huh. So true, false. You want him? You want him to repeat what he said? What? You yes, want him please to repeat. repeat. Yes, okay. repeat, please. What so is the word? So it's a unanimous. Everybody wants you to repeat. The word is machine out. Out. You, do you want to write in the chat? Maybe that will help. Yes, I, I write in the chat. Uh -huh. um, is the operation of one machine for one hour? You say as a passive for cost. Finding um, for determining operating effectivity. Um, <laughs> what is pronunciation? Effectiveness. All right, in the chat so everybody can see it. Machine out. It's true. I think it's true. I think it's true. I think it's, yes, it's true. true. Yes, it's true. Okay. Juan Francisco, is it true or false? Yes, it is true. It's true. Yes, very good. Do you, does it make sense to you what a machine hour is? Or is it still kind of like, what, what does that definition mean? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. You guys understand that? Okay, perfect. Okay, great. Excellent, guys. We're going to move on now to the next part then. Thank you very much for the four people that helped us with the vocabulary. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, let's move on to the next part. All right, so um, we are going to begin with this part. You guys remember indirect questions uh, with information que questions, right? We always start with, I wonder, I'd like to know, would you mind telling us, would you let, you, would you let me know, and et cetera, et cetera. There are many different ones. And we talked about um, that after those phrases, we use the WH question words, like what, when, how much, how, what time, and if it's a yes or no question, you use if, right? Okay. Then we use the subject, the verb, and the complement. Simple as that. Okay. So I asked you guys to do this for homework. Everybody finished? Yeah. What we're going to do is compare your answers with a group. Um, we'll make it a group about a three people. It's okay with you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so I'll, I'm going to give you two or three people. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll have two or three people. Okay, and I'm going to give you guys, mm, let me see. I am going to give you, um, mm, three minutes. 
let's give you eight minutes to compare your answers. Remember, this is not doing the exercise. This is comparing because you did, you were supposed to do this for homework, okay? Are the instructions clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's open up the rooms. Um, Warner and Irvin, what happened? I am here. Oh, but why didn't you join your group? I don't know. I only was in the, in the Zoom. Okay. And after that. Okay, how about now? Warner? Ya estaba dormido porque no me acuerdo. What don't you remember? What? The homework. Teacher, no. that wasn't in the material, right? We took uh, the, the, the image. That's right. Ajá. Right? Uh -huh. Se le puse para que el... Yeah. I'll send you the picture, guys. I can, I can share it again if you want. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Then we stop. So the first one is why did she? Uh, teacher, I have a doubt with the first one, so I don't know if uh, it, it is okay. That say, can you tell me why did she cry? Or can you tell me why uh, she cried? Can you tell me why she cried with uh, the past of the, the verb? We don't use uh, it. Um, no, you're not gonna say if, because if is only for yes or no questions. So, if you're gonna ask why did she cry, that's not the answer is not gonna be yes, she did. No, she didn't. So you can't you can't do it like that, right? So that's why you're not gonna put if, you're gonna put why. Okay. Okay. So the the sentence had to be, can you tell me why she cried? That's right. Okay, perfect. She cried because yeah. even though we don't add the auxiliary did. But the did is present in the sense that it's telling us it's a simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher, to clarify my doubt. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. The second, I try. Um, I like to know is she a spirit? I didn't understand you. <clears throat> but the, it's, the... It's, like, it's like the two sentences with one question. Yeah, 
But the <laughs> but you have with the indirect questions, you have only two answers, yes, yes. or no. Yeah, okay. And does you formulate that sentence more formal? Okay. For example, in, in this one, what is Joe? Uh, you can say, do you know what is Joe? Okay. Um, it's always, it, it's not always, um, um, it's not always going to be a yes or no question. So the, there are yes or no questions, but like for, but um, there are some that are not yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. um, in these ones, they are not yes or no questions, um, except for maybe uh, this one. Whose car was it? Huh? I, I, there are many sentences here that the the question, the answer is is not yes Maybe or no. This one, mm -hmm. do you have any free tickets? That's going to be a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. uh, will they be all right? That's going to be also a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Oh, the does she speak Greek? Uh, does uh, the second does one Greek? Yes. Does she speak Greek? Mm -hmm. so those are going to be yes or no questions, but most of them are not. Mm -hmm. So you you only put if if it's a yes or no question. The other ones don't put if. But it's a manner to say a more formal question. No? Yes, it's definitely going to be more formal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more formal, more polite. More polite, and this more and it's larger than the the, the simple questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in this one, it's not, um, do you know where is Joe? No, it's going to be opposite. Oh, yeah. Do you know where Joe is? Mm -hmm. The first is subject and then the verb. What is Joe? No, no. do you know where Joe is? Ah, do you know Not where Joe start. is? Yes. Do you know where Joe is? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Good. Where is Joe? So you have to change. And I think that in the full sentence, it. What time that Joe start? What do you think in that one? What does, um, at what time does do you have an idea do you have any idea at what time at what the time shows, does the show start the show starts i guess so the show starts oh uh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know what do you think on that no, I think it, you only eliminate it does. No, we don't eliminate it because it's a question. Oh, yeah. What do you think, teacher? <laughs> what do hmm? I think about what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about what? We're discussing, uh, in this case, for example, in the first column, the fourth sentence, uh, it should be, do you have any idea at what time the show starts? So we got confused when we're using do or does. Okay, we can eliminate. The, or eliminate. So exactly. Remember the do, does, or did is eliminated. At the beginning? No, no. Not in the, not in the um, indirect question phrase. Mm -hmm. It's in the rest of the question. Ah, okay. So the indirect for me is, do you have any idea? That is the beginning uh -huh. of the indirect, right? Ah, okay. Yeah. So this should be, do you have any idea at what time the show starts? So we eliminate Not that. Not at what time, just because there is no at in there. Just ah, okay. Do you have idea what, what time, time the show starts? Yes. Ah, okay. And... Okay, we had a dove also in the same column picture, the second one, 
Uh, mm -hmm. Does she speak Greek? Uh, it would be, I like to know if she speak Greek. Good, but it's not if she speak, it's if she speaks. Speaks, exactly. She speaks. Because speaks. even Remember. though the does is not there, mm -hmm. you included the does in the sense that you put the S at the end. Ah, okay. And also we were diving with the one below. Do you know where Joe is? Correct. So must we, must be we need to switch the order, right? Right. It's first the subject, then the verb. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, I don't know if I was sleeping when that when that class was with the WH word and the if. So both structure are indirect question, right? So that means that I can use either if in the middle or to make the, the indirect question, or I can use a WH word, is that right? Repeat the question. Okay, what I understand teacher is that with an indirect question or sentence, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm using if is the answer, it will be a yes, no answer. But when I'm using a WH word, mm -hmm. I'm getting like additional information. Can not be only a yes, no answer. Mm -hmm. Ah, exactly. okay. So both uh, structure are indirect questions. So I can use if, or I can use a WH word in the middle. Is that right? Yes, if, yeah, exactly. One or the, one or the other one, but not both. Uh -huh. Okay, not both. Okay. Okay. And, and, and we use mostly if when in like, uh, we are co like confirming, we are wondering, but we know the answer is mostly affirmative. Is that right? Re repeat that question. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, for example, we use wonder mostly in the sentences starting I was wondering if or uh, you can use you can use it in any one of them. The I was wondering or I wonder you can use Can it I use questions. if in questions too? Yes, you can use it with if or you can uh, use it with um, WH question words, whatever you prefer. Ah, uh, okay. I I thought that if was used mostly in in the yes no, but Okay, I better understand now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't know if I confuse Josue <laughs> because we were talking. Also, it's like um, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer to use a WH question. It's easier to me. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 yeah, I mean, both of them are possible. You just have to know that you can use both. Okay. Exactly. And the thing is also like when we see a WH sentence or question, mm -hmm. we know that we cannot answer with just yes or no. We need to provide information when you use a WH. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I better understand it now. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, um, are you guys ready to go back to the main? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know, Werner, what do you say? Werner has the word. <laughs> Werner's been very quiet. Yes. yes. So it's so, so weird because Werner is not quiet. <laughs> He's a wizard. Werner, are are you yes, feeling no okay today? Yes, no problem. Okay, good. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. I okay. just want to go and visit one more group. Okay, and... Jessica. Yeah? No, it's okay. No, no, it's oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were stopping me talking. <laughs> All right, okay, great. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Um, hello, Wendy. Bye. 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 Bye.
Hola, Wendy. Hola, teacher. Se me fue Irene. ¿Qué le pasó? Es que, fíjese de que las dos estamos teniendo problemas con internet. Entonces, eh, aquí me escribió que la sacó y no, la de, no puede entrar porque no le soporta el internet. Y así estoy yo, si se queda congelado sí, esto. Estoy viendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Puede ser que es la que se quede escribiendo. Uh -huh. Sí, no, aquí me puso de que tenía problemas. Y es cierto porque yo así estoy. De hecho, hasta me cambié de computadora porque pensé que la compu era. Uh, ok, bueno. Ok, vamos a ver qué pasa. Teacher, I have a, I have a question. Uh -huh. En la primera, why die, eh, the complete is, can you tell me if, or can you tell me why did she cry? I okay. confuse because why for me is W uh, question with no. What w is the what? question? Which one is the question? The okay. is? La primerita. La primerita. Um, quiero ver, quiero ver. Okay, bye. The question is why did she cry? It's not a yes or no question. You can you can say why did she cry? Yes. Uh, that's not a possible answer. Right? So, mm -hmm. so you're, when you ask, you ask, can you tell me? You cannot use if. You have to mm -hmm. say, can you tell me why? Not, can you tell me uh -huh. if? Okay. Uh -huh. The correct form is, can you tell me why did she cry? No, no. You Can you have, tell me why cry? Why? It is okay, but remember the rule is. Oh, no sé si usted estaba en esa clase cuando. No es que no estuve en esta clase, por eso me confundo con las dos, eh, eh, las dos este, okay. las dos tipos de expresiones. Okay. So, if if it's a yes or no question, you're going to be using if. So, can you tell me if if the question if the question is yes or no? Oh, oh, uh -huh. just, uh, the, the short answer. The short answer is going to be yes or no. Then you're going to say if. Can you tell me if? Uh, I can no. use if. I can you. I can use if when the answer is yes or no or short answer. Yes, exactly. Short answer okay. yes or no. Use if. But in this case, the question mm -hmm. is why did she cry? Uh -huh. so why you cannot use if you have to uh -huh. use why so can you tell me why the other rule is never use do does or did uh -huh. you have to eliminate it that is why you cannot say why um, can you tell me why did she cry no it's not possible you have uh -huh. to say can you tell me why and she then we cried. say she cried ¿Por qué? Porque aunque se elimine el did, pero el did no dice que es el pasado. That's why you have to say, why did she, oh, sorry, can you tell me why she cried? Uh, because it's the, uh, it's the um, past, the verb past, the it's cry. The verb in the past, exactly. Ah, okay. I, yes, I, I, uh, I, talk mm -hmm. with uh, Irene mm -hmm. that the remainder say do, does, and did uh -huh. is not including. Yes, correct. In and I eliminated that the, the question. Uh -huh. In this case, in the, in the second, in the second uh, question is use does. I like to know she is speaking speak Greek. If does she speak Greek? What are you gonna answer? Uh -huh. She does. No, the, she does. Close, I don't know if it's correct to say is the answer no, is the question closed or pregunta cerrada. Uh-huh, it's closed. Yes, close question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Puedo entender así, entonces, tal vez para que sea más fácil para mí, 
Sí. Sure. Pregunta cerrada. Si le, si le funciona so mejor. Go ahead. No problem. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y sería, I'd like to know if she speaks Greek. If she speaks Greek, yes. Ok. I'm going to close the group right now because we have to continue, ok? Thanks, so, teacher. You're welcome. Um, ahí me avisa cuando se pueda quedar para hacer ahí en la sesión. Sí, teacher. Ok. Maybe, 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 eh, I don't remember that, what to say, hoy. <laughs> Today. Today, yes. Today. Ok. Maybe, but I, the other person not, I can. Ok, sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, guys, um, attendance time. So, okay, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, good. Andres. Present teacher. Great. Claudia. No. Uh, Edgar. No. Um, Urban. Present teacher. All right. Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Irene. We can't teacher. The internet is very bad. Ivan. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Um, good. Uh, Jose Montes. No, right? Jose Ayala. All right. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jury. Jury. Um, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, great. Natalia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Ronald. Wendy. Present. Warner. Present teacher. Okay, and Yvonne. No, okay. Perfect. Okay, let's continue then. Um, let's move on. We're going to check these answers. Okay, what I'm going to do, um, just to save ourselves a little bit of time because we are a little bit um, behind in time. So what I'll do is just write the answers, okay? So I'm going to continue here. So I'm going to start. So can you tell me, and then we would say, why? Um, she cried. Cried. Why she cried. And the reason is because we have the why here. And then remember, we eliminate the did but we still keep the did in the sense that the did tells us it's in the simple past. So we change the cry to cried. And there you go. Okay. All right. Um, All right, next, uh, does she speak Greek? 
it's a yes or no question because I've noticed it says she speak Greek. You can answer yes or no, right? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. So I'd like to know if she speaks Greek. Greek. Mm -hmm. If she speaks. Why? Because um, again, we eliminate the does. We don't put the does, but the does tells us that it's in the person singular. That's why we put speaks. Okay. Next, where is Joe? Do you know where Joe is? Okay. Where Joe is. Why do you say where Joe is? Because remember, First is the subject and then the verb, okay? So don't, don't switch it around. It's not where is Joe, it's where Joe is. First the subject, then the verb. What time does the show start? Do you have any idea what time, time the, the show, show starts? starts? Starts. Okay, what time the show starts? Remember, again, first the subject, the show, and then the verb starts. Will they be all right? I wonder. Notice it's a yes or no question because the answer is will they be all right? Yes, they will. No, they won't. So it's going to be if or, yeah, or if or no. So it's, I wonder if. They will be right. Will be all right. I wonder if they will be all right. Okay. What did he want? Would you mind telling me what he, what he wanted? He wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. What he wanted. Mm -hmm. Again, what he wanted. He did, but the did is still present because. The want needs to be put in the simple past. So it's wanted. Okay. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, All right, let's continue. Um, whose car was it? Could you tell me? Um, could you let me know? Can sorry. you let me know? Sorry, could you let, sorry, could you let me know? Whose the car was? Whose car it was? Whose car it was, very good. Whose car it was? Okay. whose car it was. Notice this, whose car it was, not whose car was it. Because first the subject, then the verb. Okay. All right. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. Um, is this the right train? Do you have any idea? Now, notice that this is a yes or no question. Because the if. answer is going to be yes, it is. No, it isn't, right? Yes. So, right train? Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. So that's why you're going to say, do you have any idea? If, if. if. this, this, this is, is. is the right, right train. Okay, so do you have any idea if this is the right train? When will they get married? I wonder when they will get, get married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, all right, um, the next one. How long has she known him? I'd like to know. How, 
how long she she know Hansen. No, she has, has known, known, known him. Yes, how long has she has teacher? I, I have a, a doubt with this sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, I put it she has known him, but I I I I have a doubt is you only say she know him because has is is a verb. And so I don't know if the, you can use two verbs in the in the sentence. Yeah, this is the present perfect. Present perfect, uh huh. Mm -hmm. So present perfect, uh, in the, uh, you use auxiliary have, so oh, it's have have or has, and then past participle known. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, that's why. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, could you babysit tonight? I was wondering. Now, if. I noticed, yes, exactly. This is a yes or no question because if I ask you, could you babysit tonight? You're going to say, yes, I can or no, I can't. Right. So it's a yes or no question. So you're going to say, I was wondering if you, because first the subject, could babysit, babysit tonight. Tonight. And we ended it in a question mark too? No. I had the dub with that one and the first one in this in that same column. And uh, I wonder when they will get married. Yes. So we I finish wonder, it in in period. Yes, because I wonder and I I was wondering is not a question. Okay. Got not, it. Right? It's not really a question. You're just saying what you wonder. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Esto es la cosa que yo me preguntaba. Mm -hmm. So it's not a question. Okay. Okay. The same is the other one. I'd like to know. It's like you are just imagine wanted to know. Yeah, exactly. Okay, got it. All right. Next, what is her name? Can you tell me what, what her name his name is? is? what her name is what her name is okay okay sounds good everybody so far yes okay do you have uh, any free tickets could you tell me okay and again this is a yes or no question because um could you tell me sorry do you have any free tickets yes i do no i don't right it's yes or yes or no so you're going to say could you tell me Sorry, could you let me know if mm -hmm. they have, they have some any free tickets? Oh, and some free tickets. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Where were the boxes? Can you remember where the boxes were? Oh, sorry, we give us a I don't know. Hold on, give me a moment. I think my my fingers were not in the right place. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Where the Boxes were. Casi. Yeah. Okay, where the boxes were. Okay. Which countries did she visit? Do you know? Do you know which countries she visited? She visited. Good. Because again, remember, we are going to eliminate the, the did, but we keep it in the sense that it tells us that the verb is in the third person, it's in the past. In the past. Okay. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. 
That's the trend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? No, teacher, no. not for me. Okay. No questions at all then. No question, teacher. Okay, all right, let's move on. Okay, let's eliminate this drawing and we're moving on. Um, actually, we had, I had an, an activity I wanted to do, but um, we don't have very much time, so we'll do it some other day. So we're gonna move on to this part right here. Practice the conversation. I have three questions I want you guys to discuss. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? So we're gonna be discussing these three questions with the same group that you had before. I'm gonna send you to the same group. Um, Except I think I'm going to move one of you. Get over here. 12. Just give me a second. 25, 7, 10, opposite. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So those are the questions. Those are the questions over here at the top. Okay. Here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Okay, have you ever heard? <laughs> I've never heard this term, risk assessment. And what about you? No. No. Okay. I've never heard that. Do you have any idea what could mean? Could you share the three questions? Yes, of course. Of course. Give me one minute. This is. Miss Jessica, what happened with Warner? I guess he disconnected the, the, the internet issue. Um. Uh, who can hear you? I'm sorry. Um, yes, because um, he hasn't written anything in the chat. He hasn't written to me directly, so uh -oh. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Sorry. Maybe he lost the connection. Mm -hmm. These ones, mm -hmm. these are the risk. risk and how do you pronounce this teacher? Hazards or hazard? Hazards. 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 I'm asking because of the Z in the middle. So it's hazards. Hazards. Uh, hazards. Hazards. It's a circle player. Ha no, hazard sounds to me like something like a risk with electricity or something like that. That is what it sounds like. Dangerous. Yeah. Uh -huh. Something dangerous. Yeah, that's mm. right. So it's synonym of risk. Mm, that dangerous. risk assessment, risk assessment. Mm, I don't know what it is, but if having an idea, maybe it's like for the word assessment, it's like a, a guidance or advertisement or those things that are on the wall, advertising about a danger thing. I don't know, something like that. I just can imagine. You that work with the things with machinery, maybe you are not used to that vocabulary, Josue? No. Um. He's like, no. <laughs> 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 Maybe he works with all those things and he doesn't know, I think. Mm, 
Yeah, but uh, we have six rules about uh, uh, using, uh, I don't know how they say Ernest. Mm -hmm. When you are working in a top, you need to use. Oh, sorry guys, I just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just realized that I moved Warner. <gasps> My God, poor Werner, he disappeared. I don't know, but I, I did it because um, poor Wendy was going to be alone. So that's why I, I moved her. Ah, okay, you better okay. join Wendy with us. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. having a good conversation with Werner too. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hasta ahorita me voy dando cuenta que es con Wendy. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Right. Okay, you guys go ahead. Okay. <laughs> pues sí, Josué. <laughs> eh, no. Is how do you ever hair hair? I don't know what is. Hair. Okay, the teacher is the practice the conversation. No. No. This is the question. The question. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Have Have you ever heard her here? Heard. Here. Her. Heard. Here. Here. The term risk assessment. In your work, when you hear. Yes, yes, I, um, I see, sorry, no, como I see, I'm mm -hmm. Teacher, seguridad industrial is safety, secu no, safety. Ah, no, no, safety. Safety security, ¿verdad? Seguridad industrial. Uh -huh. Industrial security. Mm, industrial security. Right. Okay, in my work, yes, I hear the risk assessment. Uh, in, in my case, is, is if I have a health of industrial security. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I listen the research assessment by the company. Hello, dejaron solito. Hello, yeah, teacher. De repente se desconectó. Sí. Yeah, he, he wrote in the chat. He wrote in the chat oh. that he's having problems with his computer. Oh. Yeah. So he should be coming back in very soon, hopefully. Okay. Were you guys finished with the, the conversation? Yes, the conversation and, and questions, right? Just a question. Okay. We're finished. Uh, I finished. Okay, good. Good, good. Any questions? No, did you have any questions for you now? Okay, good, good, good. All right. Um, well, there's only a few seconds left. Um, so I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay, okay perfect. All right. Ya pasó la de las nueve, Ivan. Today Friday, it's in the body knows. 
Ah, vos querés short de ahora. Yes. Short, short, short. Short time. Short de ajá. Werner. Werner y su Magician Show. Ay, sí. You All could right. be magic. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to discuss them then, okay? So let's discuss these questions. Um, so tell me, have you ever heard of uh, the, the term risk assessment? How many people have ever heard of that term? No, nobody? No, never heard of risk assessment? Yes, I have. Yeah, you have, Heidi? Okay. Who else? Who else has heard of it? Like the same words? No. In English, no. Okay. In Spanish, I don't know is the, is the same that I thought oh, that it is. Okay. okay. What, what have you heard in Spanish? Uh, asumir riesgo. Asumir riesgo. Or evaluar el riesgo. Or evaluar riesgo. Evaluar riesgos. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? Have you ever heard of it? For me, yes. Yes? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. All right. So we have never. about a few people. Sorry? No, I mean, I never heard that. You have never heard of it. Okay. Wow. So we have about, huh? Okay. So we have about uh, three, three, four people that have heard of it. Okay. For the other people that have never heard of it, or even the people that have heard of it, but not sure what it is, what do you think it means? Is to evaluate the, the risk of, of, we were saying in, in the group. Um, An accident. To evaluate the risk of? Of, of losses, yeah. of economic Lost. losses or, or, or sanctions. Okay. 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 What else? Any other ideas? I heard that uh, work for, but when you have an accident or something like that. Okay. All right. So risk assessment for accidents. Okay. Anything else? Any other things? Uh, when uh, Rick's asked review to avoid the incident um, um, prevent the accident. Okay, good. Okay, so why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? Okay, so let's actually, let me, let me explain to you before we, we answer that question, we need to know what it really is. Um, risk assessment has to, because remember, all of all of you all of this course of uh, the intermediate two is talking about producing or pr the production of a product or service right that's what we've been doing the whole course from day one up to now day 21 we are talking about producing or pr making a production of a service or product right so this has to do with this thing as well. Risk assessment, the word assessment means evaluation. Okay, so an, an assessment is like an evaluation. So when you have a risk assessment, it means that we are evaluating the risks. The risks of what? The risks of, the, the, of making the product or having the service that we have thought about the project the, pro, the the project thinking about that project that you guys have about the services or the product what are the the um the risks associated with creating that product or having that service does that make sense for you yes no Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ivan is the expert. Ivan is the expert. Why is Ivan the expert? I don't need freedom. 
He's the expert. Ask him. <laughs> okay, Ivan, why, why are you the expert? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that seems that she, she said, I really, I work in evaluate uh, banking risk. Ah, okay, okay. I evaluate um, policies from credit risk. Uh huh. Oh. But uh, the risk is in everybody try to avoid the or uh, minimize the, the risk in the in the enterprise in every area of work, like right. industry and banking and in human resources, everybody try to minimize the, the risk and of the damage course. of people. Of course, yeah, right. Because we have to make sure that we understand that everything has a risk. Yes. Okay? Uh, everything. The but risk course, is not disappear, but it could be reducing. Or right, exactly. That's, that's exactly what I was gonna say, that every ha everything has a risk. But if we evaluate ahead of time, what are the risks, we can reduce the risks. Yes, right? yes, yes. Okay, good. All right. right, so now that we understand that, my next question is, why should organizations design and be trained to apply a risk assessment? What's the reason, in your opinion? I think that it's very important to always in all business, mm -hmm. you have to assist the evaluation that all the risks that maybe you can, uh, you can uh, have in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to, but always you have to need to appetize for the risk. Because if you don't have appetite for appetite for the risk, you maybe you can do the the business well. And then if you have or you want to earn money or produce in your enterprise or company or business, mm -hmm. uh, you have to have this appetite. But at the same time, you need to evaluate the risk. But the uh, it depends the kinds of business that you have. Some businesses the, you have to organize the, and evaluate all the risks. For example, Ivan in a bank is very important, but the bank have you treat with money and, and another business like uh, food, you treat with the health of the people, for example. So the, uh, it's necessary for that. And it's very important to design or or create a plan for you. What what is the high risk and what is the low risk that maybe you can have? Okay, very good, wonderful, very very good. Okay. And and, and because no no company wants to lose money and no wants people to suffer physical harm. Right. That's the principal reason. Yeah, absolutely, exactly. Right. We don't want we don't want to lose money. Right, and, and especially we, in a in a business, we were that's kind of like our aim here. But of course, we also have to look at the hum, the um, the human part, right? The the fact that we are working with human beings, and yes, we don't want to we, we don't want to harm them, right? So we have to reduce those risks. Very good. Okay, so speaking about that. Um, just give me a second. One second, guys. Okay, so we have here um, a conversation between Marcos and Josue, but not you, Josue. <laughs> okay. All right. So let uh, let's share. You guys can see this? Yes, teacher, I can see. Perfect. Okay. So we have two managers who are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in their company. 
So let's read their conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, so let's start with what Marco says. Again, just like always, uh, I'm going to read it and you open your microphone and repeat it. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. If the list of hazards. And safety measures. Safety measures. Is complete. Is complete. Measures for electric shocks. Measures for electric shocks. For electric burns. For, for electric, electric burn. burn. For electric burn. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Have you finished the first draft for the plan yet? Already, Marcos. Already, Already Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan. Now for reporting hazards. For reporting hazards hazards and incidents. And incidents. Great. 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 I'll work on some ideas. I'll work on some ideas. Some ideas. On controlling risks. On, on controlling, controlling risks. Risk. Because we haven't made. Because we, because we haven't made, made. Much progress on that. Much, much progress, progress on that. that. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Then. Then. then I'll work on establishing. I work on establishing the incident probabilities. The incident probabilities. The potential severity. The potential severity. Risk value. Risk value. And risk level. And risk level. That sounds good. That, that sounds, sounds good. good. We want to have. We, we want, want, to, want have to have everything ready. Everything, everything ready, ready, ready by the end of the week. By the, by the end, end of the week. week. Good, excellent, guys. Okay, so let's start with vocabulary. Let's. You can give me vocabulary that you're not sure about. Teacher, I have a, a question in the first intervention Marcos is making at the end. Uh, is using jet in the question is not the best way for that question. Like, haven't you finished the first? I remember yet is used for negative. Where are you looking? Uh, the first uh, paragraph for Marcos. At the end of the paragraph, when he's making the the question, mm -hmm. ha, eh, have eh, because I see the word yet in the question. I thought the correct way in that question is: Haven't you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? It's because I remember you said yet is used for, or I don't know if I'm I'm wrong. If used for negative. No. No. No, oh, not necessarily. Okay. You could. Mm. But um, haven't you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? It has a different meaning. What it means is mm -hmm. you're you're it's like you're saying, like, I thought you had done that already. Uh-huh. Yeah. But oh. this is but when you say it like this, this is the real question. Uh, yeah. Okay. So if you say, haven't you finished the first draft for of the office 
safety planning yeah. as a, like it's saying like i expect you to have finished mm -hmm. it you haven't finished it right but mm. if you are saying have you finished it's a real question okay sounds good yes i understand now thank you okay any other questions Hazard, hazard is a like uh, risk teacher. Sorry, could you repeat that question? Hazard, hazard uh -huh. is a like uh, to risk. No. Oh, okay. No, a hazard is like, a, yeah, a has, um, hazards are like dangerous things. It's actually, think of it as danger is an adjective and hazard is the down. Think of it that way, right? Although hazardous can also be an adjective of hazard. Okay. But these are dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. or something, yeah, something, something that's dangerous. Hazards. Uh, the second one you say, what do you say is hazard, hazardous? What did you say? Hazardous. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard that word. Ending in D O U S? I'll write it in chat. Please. In that way, it will be an adjective, not yeah. a noun. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yes, um, I saw that me, word. So maybe I either, I, um, I hadn't seen. Hold on. Just give me a second, guys. Uh, while I, I circle the words. Okay, so we have hazard. And um, severity. Measures. I think that's the only one this is measuring. Oh, I was about to know. That's it, right? Um, draft. I think that's it. Right? Let's see again. Uh, Okay. All right. So we have, so we talked about hazards, hazards, like we said here, um, you know, things that are dangerous. Okay. Things that are dangerous. Okay. Safety measures. Eh, okay. Measures can have two meanings. Measures can be um, um, like when you measure something, Literally, so you say how how big something is. Like, uh, for example, you can say uh, my house no, or my car measures, um, I don't know, 10 feet. Okay, measures, right? So you have, uh, you have the measurements. But the, in this case, we're not talking about that. In this case, measures are... Um, talking about like uh, policies, rules, okay? So it's like, it's like when you say in Spanish, medidas. Pero medidas, in this case, safety measures are med medidas de seguridad. Okay, so those are like the steps that you take for like the, the rules, let's say. Okay, does that make sense? 
Okay, good. All right, um, draft, we talked about this last time, the first draft. A uh, draft is like, um, then we talked about it, we said it was like in Manchote, right? So it's like the, the first drawing, like not like the final copy. And severity comes from the word severe. Severe in, if I just say the word severe, you probably recognize it, but it's very similar to Spanish, right? So severity is, um, it's, an, it's um, the noun. Severe is the adjective. Severity is the noun. So what is severe in Spanish? Severidad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Se or uh, gravedad. Severo. Gra grave, right? And then severity would be gravedad. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. All right. What about vocabulary that we don't know how to pronounce? You guys can put in the chat too. That's it? Nothing? Okay. All right, guys. Um, in that case, um, gonna put you into groups, just practice the conversation, okay? And I'm gonna get you to work, um, in pairs, just in pairs. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. Just practice the conversation. You, you draft to the office safety plan yet. Already, Marcos. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we have made much progress on that. Ya no miro ni con las lentes. All right. No Then I'll, I'll work on establishing the incident probability, the potential severity risk, mm -hmm. um, value and risk level. That sounds good. Uh, we want to have, we want to have everything ready be the end of the week. You start? Yes, teacher? By the end of the week. By the end of the week. Good. 
Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I start. Yes. Uh, let check if the list of faster and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shots for electric board. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I work, work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress, progress on that. All right. Then I work on establish the incident probabilities, the potential severity, severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, maybe we can uh, the answer. answer. The, yeah. Question? Yes. The first one is who Actually, was no, working? Stop. No. That will be all the time we have, okay? So. Ah, okay. Back to the main room right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Ana Claudia, Andrés, Edgar, Erwin. Sí, present teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ya te querés ir, ¿verdad vos? No, I do not by myself. <laughs> I do <laughs> for other people. He wants to start his weekend already. Exactly. Yes. Out. I know. All right. Ana Claudia. <laughs> present teacher. Andrés. And hey, now is the real list. <laughs> Answer, please. <laughs> ah, Andres, he wrote in the, in the chat. chat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Have technical issues. Oh, okay, okay. Claudia, no, right? Um, Edgar, no. Irvin? Present. Okay, Heidi? Present. Uh, Irene? Now. Irene? No. Uh, Ivan? He's not Present here. Teacher. Yes, I hear. No, he's not here. <laughs> Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Uh, Juan, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Jury, no, right? Okay. Um, Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Present teacher. Ronald. All right. Wendy. Wendy. Nice. Sorry. Okay, good. Werner. 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 Oh, you saw. Totally disappeared. Um, Order? Present teacher. Okay. <laughs> and <now it's> <laughs> okay. Sorry. And Yvonne. Not here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good guys. Um bueno, hoy le tocaría a Andrés, pero um, como Andrés no está ahorita. Eh, no sé si alguien quiere quedarse. No todos al mismo tiempo, solo. Sí, solo uno, por favor. <risa> you se peleen. Ahí va, Iván. Don't fight, don't fight. Yo creo que ahí va. Sí, ahí va, mucho habla. Dispe <risa> Dispénsenos, teacher, pero es que es el efecto viernes. <risa> ok, vaya. No, no, pues. no la queremos ahí entretener para que se vaya de, de fiesta. <risa> 
<risa> ok, bueno, chicos. Entonces, uh, empiecen sus... Uh, su... Oraciones, ok. Su... No, no. No se usa... <risa> Era presión de grupo. Fin de semana. Eh, y pues, um, I'll see you guys on Monday, ok? Ok, bye. 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 So I never...